23rd of April marks World Book Day. To celebrate this day, we'll be reviewing a book for the month of April. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization has decided on this day in an effort to promote reading, publishing and copyright. My name is Rufuluism from the Freak Scout Library at the University of the Free State Bloemfontein campus. The name of the book that we'll be reviewing this month is Dear Ijia Wele, A Feminist Manifesto in 15 Suggestions. The name of the author is Chimamanda Adichie Ngozi. Chimamanda Adichie Ngozi is a well-known Nigerian author with books up her sleeve such as Americana, Half of a Yellow Sun, and Purple Hibiscus, just to mention a few. She writes non-fiction and short stories and is currently based in the United States. The main theme of the book is around feminism. Shmamanda writes the book as a love letter to Chizalum, her niece, in order to promote feminism. There are 15 suggestions in the book, but I'm only going to give you three. The first that stood out the most for me is called Be a Full Person. Now, Chmamanda basically says that even though you have a child and in motherhood, you should be your full self. Don't center your life around your kids. The second is teaching Chizalum how to read. Basically here, she highlights how important it is to read and how Chizalum should be taught to love books. The third is to reject likability. In a world where we are taught to be liked as women, she tells Chizalum that she should reject likability and be her full self. Now for the criteria and the ratings of the book. Now, as you can see, the book is a very short one. It's very compact, small, and the pages are literally like 63. Shmamanda is a prolific writer, and I think I gave it a 4 out of 5, because obviously if I gave it a 5 out of 5, you guys would say I'm biased. I gave it a 4 out of 5 based on the style of writing that she uses in the book, her creativity, her descriptiveness and as well as her style of writing. In closing, I'd like to read an excerpt from the 15th suggestion. Teach her about difference. Make difference ordinary. Make difference normal. Teach her not to attach value to difference. And the reason for this is not to be fair or to be nice, but merely to be human and practical. Because difference is the reality of our world. And by teaching her about difference, you are equipping her to survive in a diverse world. If you'd like to get a hold of this book, you can get it at any of the UFS libraries. Mm -hmm.